topic of this video is determining where the graph of a rational function intersects a horizontal or oblique asymptote. The graph of a rational function can never intersect a vertical asymptote, but it can intersect a horizontal or oblique asymptote. Let's look at an example. Consider the function r of x equals numerator polynomial x squared divided by denominator polynomial x squared plus x minus 2. The numerator and denominator polynomials both have degree 1. Therefore, the function has a horizontal asymptote at y equals b, where b equals the ratio of the highest degree term coefficients, 1 divided by 1. The horizontal asymptote, y equals 1, is shown in the graph below. But look carefully. What is y when x equals 2? We can plug in to see. r of 2 is equal to 2 squared divided by the denominator 2 squared plus 2 minus 2, which can be written as 4 divided by the denominator 4 plus 2 minus 2, which is 4 divided by 4, which is 1. Therefore, the graph contains the point 2 comma 1. So the graph both crosses here and approaches here the horizontal asymptote. Is there a way we can tell where a rational function and its asymptote will cross? The answer is yes. Set the two equations equal to each other. Recall that we can write r of x equals x squared over the denominator x squared plus x minus 2 as y equals x squared over x squared plus x minus 2. And our horizontal asymptote was y equals 1. So y equals y equals. Setting these equal, we have x squared over the denominator x squared plus x minus 2 equals 1. Writing 1 as 1 over 1 and setting the cross multiples equal, we get x squared times 1 equals the trinomial x squared plus x minus 2 times 1. Anything times 1 is itself, so then we have x squared equals x squared plus x minus 2. Subtracting x squared on both sides gives 0 equals x minus 2, and adding 2 on both sides gives x equals 2. Thus, the rational function crosses the asymptote at x equals 2. To find the y-coordinate of the intersection, we plug x equals 2 into our function, that work was shown previously, to get y equals 1. It should be mentioned that the same process would be used to find the intersection with an oblique asymptote. Put both functions in y equals form, and set them equal to each other.